I think um, in all of my work, I'm, I'm deliberately concerned with um, both African and America at the same time and how I can take a kind of African perspective or an African experience and incorporate that into an American landscape and into an American cultural landscape and political landscape as well. So it's um, it's not even so much that I'm that conscious of trying to build a bridge so much as it's kind of an inevitable product of who I am, very much a product of these two cultures and two countries and two histories. And so the work, I think, is a natural reflection of that. That bridge is... Um, it's my identity, it's my, my, my own personal experience and background, and my work, I think, is just a natural reflection of that. I think of, um, I think of one as characters always kind of in response to their place, very much so, and, and, and for me, particular landscapes, and, and especially urban landscapes, are, are, are very significant. Um, whether it's Washington, D.C. for my first novel, or New York, part of what you're doing is you're not only building a character, but you're also kind of deconstructing a landscape and figuring out how that character is living in response to their city. Um, and in the case of Sudan, it's also a matter of not only a kind of port town, but also kind of the political landscape around that and how that also informs that character's identity and forms that character's past and history. And then translating that also as well into New York. So you're taking the sort of African experience and then also migrating that experience literally and bringing it to that um, American landscape. And so it's New York, or in my first book, if it's Washington, D.C. from Ethiopia, um, you're concerned with these two different urban landscapes or different landscapes and melting them together in a way. Um, living in Paris, I don't think of it that much as affecting my work so much as it does, um, it does make me sort of more conscious of, of, of my own kind of American identity and the sort of um, my relationship to, to America as, as a sort of country that is um, very much mine. But in terms of my own work, because I know my work is still concerned primarily with, with America and with um, sort of Africa inside of America, um, I don't feel as, as, if, as if living abroad is, is actually kind of touches on that experience. I come back to the States quite often and um, my concern lies in that kind of an American literary tradition. Um, and so having, you know, living in your part of the year doesn't, um, doesn't really influence that part of my work, I think. It influences my ability, my perception of, of, of the world, but not so much my writing. Um, it's only you know it's only two days into the visit, and I would you know I would say um, last night's event with with, with Manuel Rivas um, was was really remarkable because he's a sort of remarkable Spanish writer, um, and seeing the sort of great audience in this very sort of small beautiful town of Santiago de Compostela, um, this sort of wonderful audience coming together, um, and who was really sort of engaged both with him and then also as a result of him I think to my own work which is just coming out now in Spanish, in Spanish translation and seeing how. Um, you know, always people from, from from different cultures who really have very little knowledge of your own writing are engaged by it um, and engaged by that conversation or engaged by that dialogue um, simply by the matter of fact of your presence then how, how easily it is to spark that conversation I think is always rewarding.